Hi everyone, welcome to Know Your PC, I'm Bob. And I'm Alu, and today we're here to show you how to use Microsoft System Restore, which basically takes your computer back to an earlier point in time. We're demonstrating that on this HP TouchSmart PC. This is the IQ800 series. It's an all-in-one computer, touch-enabled, and what I really like is it's big. 25 and a half inch diagonal monitor, it's an HD. I just love it. So sometimes if your computer isn't functioning properly, one of the solutions ends up being that you perform what's called a system recovery. Okay, system recovery takes your computer back to the way it was when you first got it right out of the box. It's all the same as system restore. Now this is the third part of a series that we did talking to you about different troubleshooting ideas before you have to go to system recovery. Right. right? And the first one we talked to you about if your computer freezes, locks up, is not responding, we gave you some hints on how to help that situation. And the second one we talked about you know, hardware devices, drivers, different things that might be causing problems with your computer. And this one, Microsoft System Restore. So Microsoft System Restore takes your computer back to an earlier point in time. So, on a daily basis, it will take a snapshot of your programs and your settings. Now, it'll also take that snapshot before you install any drivers or software to your computer. It does not uh, affect any data that you've saved. So let's say you want to revert back to last week for whatever reason, but you saved the document today. The document will still be there. This is the programs and the settings that it's referring to. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own restore point. Okay. All right, so go to the Start button and hit all programs and go to PC Help and Tools. Tap Recovery Manager. Yes, you have my permission. And up comes our page. Welcome to the Recovery Manager. Now in the left corner here it says Advanced Options. So we're going to click that. And then we'll go to Restore your computer to an earlier point in time. And next. And then click Next. So this brings up this page. Now to create your own restore point, go to Open System Protection. You'll see here we've got the C drive highlighted. Go ahead and press Create. And now we're going to name it. Bob's Restore Point. Good one. All right. I know. Just sometimes they come to me like that. All right. So press Create. All right. And now it's going to take a couple seconds to create this Restore Point. And, uh, you know, again, this is if I'm going to be adventurous and put in a couple new programs, but I'm not sure how they're going to work with my computer, and I want to create a Restore Point, um, I can go back in time. Again, I would have to uninstall them to fully get rid of the issues. So it's all done. We've created Bob's Restore Point. Now I'm going to show you how to go back to an earlier point in time. I'll show you how to create one, but now how do you go back to one, all right? So on the screen, you'll see one side that says Recommended, and that's just a Restore Point that maybe the last program that you installed or driver or something like that, or yesterday's, and it'll recommend that, or you can go back to your own. And so what you could do is you can highlight, go back to the one that you choose, click Next, and it'll give you a list of different restore points. So let's say your computer wasn't working that good this week, but it was fine last week. You could find a date or a time that was working last week and you can revert to that, or you know, yesterday or Bob's restore point or something <laughs> like that. All right, so we're gonna click Bob's restore point, which is highlighted, and then we're gonna click next. And make sure before you actually end up fully saying yes to the whole process, <laughs> save your data. And then click next because it's gonna restart your computer and relaunch it to that earlier point. So go ahead, yes. Yes. Don't unplug your computer, don't try and mess around with it too much. It's working, it's trying to revert back to another time, so let it go back in time, Doc Brown. Now I've shown you how to create a point, how to go back to a point, and if you have any more questions, you can always go to hp.com support. You can also check out our other videos at youtube.com touchmart. All right, well thanks for watching, guys. I'm Bob. And I'm Alou. See you later.